The Spiritual Hierarchy Guardians of Humanity Throughout the course of the evolution of mankind, from its baby steps in the caves and crevices of the earth, to the founding of its first society, its rise to civilization and its subsequent fall and rebirth, to the formation of its beliefs, its crowning discoveries, inventions, and achievements. A guiding intelligence is unmistakably present, forever leading the consciousness of humanity to expansion. This guiding intelligence is known as the spiritual hierarchy, a body of highly evolved human beings who, like us, have trodden the earth, taken the path of initiation, and continue to penetrate the secrets of nature in higher initiations beyond the Earth's sphere. They have essentially triumphed over matter and achieved a level of consciousness that is far beyond that of ordinary humanity. They are no longer centered in individualized consciousness, but are part of the all-inclusive planetary and cosmic consciousness. Having endured thousands of incarnations on Earth, these great beings know firsthand how humanity suffers. They are devoted to the deliverance of mankind from the fetters of the flesh toward the realization that each and every being reflects the one God consciousness. As part of the spiritual hierarchy, they serve as custodians and implementers of the divine plan that the great council of Shambhala has issued forth. At each critical turning point reached in the development of human consciousness throughout history, the spiritual hierarchy sends down to earth a teacher to lead humanity to even greater heights of awareness. The Gumaras from Venus led men to build a great civilization from the sands of Egypt. Great spiritual teachers like Sri Krishna, Gautama Buddha, Jesus Christ, Muhammad and countless others walked to earth to open the path of initiation to God-realization. Pythagoras, Thomas More, Phidias, Plato, Sir Francis Bacon, and many more unlocked the genius in man in the exploration of the vast wonders of mathematics, science, architecture, arts, and literature. These avatars led the way for humanity to break out of the cocoon of ignorance and to reach the level of mental maturity necessary in treading the return path to God. The Hierarchy Within the spiritual hierarchy, there is an inner spiritual government of the world, often referred to as the Great Brotherhood of Light or the Great White Lodge. Some members may use a physical embodiment in order to appear in the physical plane, as in the case of the founding of the Theosophical Society. During those days, Helena P. Blavatsky and other founding members of the Society were graced with the physical presence of the Masters St. Germain, Moria, Kuthumi, Dwalkul, and other Masters. At the head of the entire spiritual hierarchy is Amat Kumara a great cosmic being from the planet Venus. In the Bible, he is called the Ancient of Days and also known in various teachings as the Regent of the Earth, the One Initiator, and the Youth of Endless Summers. The Sanat Kumara includes the entire planet Earth and all evolving life forms on the planet within his etheric body. According to Theosophy, the Sanat Kumara, together with several great Venusian beings called Kumaras, also known as the Lords of the Flame, came to Earth 18.5 million years ago to guide the evolution of the primitive sentient life forms on the planet. They comprised the original spiritual government 
for planet Earth and established their headquarters in the city of Shambhala in the etheric plain above the Gobi Desert. Included in the energy field of the aura of Sanat Kumara, the consciousness of humanity gradually emerged from its devolutionary trend and evolved. To further hasten man's spiritual development, as the one initiator, Sanat Kumara bestowed on humanity the path of initiation or a systematic and comprehensive process by which man could accelerate the advancement of his consciousness and quicken the realization of his godhood instead of merely flowing along with the natural course of evolution. Over the passage of time, members of Earth's human life wave under the guidance and tutelage of mystery schools or mystical orders, treaded a path of initiation, and by sheer dint of will and perseverance, eventually surmounted the confinement of the physical and advanced to higher levels of initiation. Some, known as the flowers of humanity, have reached elevated levels of cosmic initiations and replaced some of the Kumaras who have gone on their way to higher initiations. Among the lords of the flame known to be actively involved in guiding humanity to these days are the Gautama Buddha and the Lord Maitreya. The Hierarchical Order The spiritual government of the world administers the divine plan for planet Earth and all its evolving life forms. Still, at a high level, there is a solar hierarchy which oversees the plan for the entire solar system. As the word hierarchy denotes, the spiritual hierarchy has a natural order or division of responsibilities administered by the great beings within the order according to the level of initiation they have attained. Each division works in vast fields of energies, influencing planetary and human affairs governed in the following hierarchical order. Head of the hierarchy, the first aspect, ninth initiation. The Lord of the world, Sanat Kumara, wills the divine will on earth. Second aspect, eighth initiation. The Lord Buddha sends divine wisdom down to mankind. Third aspect, seventh initiation. A. The Bahachuan exercises the divine activity in the world or directs the minds of man in the formation of culture and civilization in line with the cyclic plan. B. The Bodhisattva or the Word Teacher ministers the education and religion according to the stage of the development of the consciousness of man. C. The Manu works out the details of the evolution of the races. The True Hands The spiritual hierarchy is comprised of seven main ashrams, each headed by one of the seven True Hands of the seven race. These ashrams are peopled by thousands of beings who have made their way up the hierarchy and the path of initiation. Each ashram represents a hierarchy in itself, within the overall spiritual hierarchy and is headed by the following true hands or leaders. True hand of the first ray or divine will, Master El Moria. True hand of the second ray or love wisdom, Master Kuthumi preparing the way for the world future. Chohan of the third ray or active intelligence, Master Saint Germain, in his capacity as Maha Chohan or leader of the Chohans.
Johanna the Fourth Ray, or Harmony Through Conflict, Master Serapis Bay. Johanna the Fifth Ray, or Science, Master Hilarion. Johanna the Sixth Ray or Devotion, Master Jesus. Johanna the Seventh Ray or Ceremonial Magic, Master Saint Germain in his capacity as Hierarch of the New Age. Masters of Wisdom, Fifth Initiation. Ascended Masters who guide initiates in the path of initiation. Externalization of the Hierarchy Today, the planet Earth and humanity are at the threshold of a great initiation ushering in a new age. Transition to this new cycle entails a cleansing process as the vibratory level of birth and mankind is transmuted to higher levels of expression. As humanity passes through the pains of this birthing process, the spiritual hierarchy sent a host of their disciples or their hands and feet called light bearers to the physical plane to enlighten the minds of man and help them bear the passage of events with understanding and acceptance. This light bearer should also pave the way for the externalization of the hierarchy beginning now, for as the transmutation of the planet to the next higher level or the fourth dimension takes place, the great compassionate beings of the hierarchy will move openly on the physical plane among men, helping them in the work of reconstruction and guiding them in the path of infinite perfection. <laughs>